We are back with some OEP hours, good friends. We got my man Easy with us, And let me put on some music in the background real quick. Easy decided to bring um, Mega Medich and Bulky offense with some pivots. Like, we're gonna see a Volt Switch from Mijiona with AV, I'm pretty sure. We're gonna see Volt Switch on Rotom to bring in Specs Gengar, to bring in Medichim, to bring in his Breakers. He does just go for um, Flash Cannon and one on the potential Star Fox Skill Fable, which makes me think that it could be Z Move Landris on the opposing team. And yeah, yeah, just just go into Assault Vest Tangros. As this is pretty much a Volt Switch for. For my man Easy here. As he doesn't want to lose his item. This is a Volt Switch into Medichem. I can also see. Yeah, 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 exactly. I can. I agree with going hard Medichem. Because that covers the Landra switch. Because his, uh, his opponent could have tried to go Landra's on a Volt Switch. So that was a cool play. You can just click high jump kick here, like if the Landris comes in. I mean, yeah, the, 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 the Clefable can technically take a high jump kick. If he has an headbutt, he can go for his headbutt and two kill the Clefable potentially. So this Medicham is a threat, but Semiotic has some ways to play around it. He does just go Clefable, make me think that he's max defense, which is pretty common at the moment. But yeah, if the if the Medicham has a headbutt like it has, it's gonna get blown away. And I can see him trying to go into Landris or Greninja here on the Zen Hutbot slash high jump kick prediction. Like if he go predicts high jump kick he can go Landris. If he predicts Zen Hutbot again he can go Greninja. Yeah, Blunder just confirmed on Smogtoes that he's playing later, that's pretty cool. I'm definitely gonna get someone in call for the black and white game. I'm not trying to mess up my narration again. But yeah, I think he's going for... He has some ways to pivot around the Greninja, so I think he might just... Go for Zen Headbutt again, because he doesn't really care too too much if the Greninja comes in, as he has a Magina and a Rotom to pivot. And it's only bad in the sense that a Greninja could get up a spike on the switch. Semiotic doesn't have hazard control, which makes me think that he's a spike stacking team, like I said, like spikes on Gran and rocks on Clav. If he does go for high jump kick, making the aggressive play, it means that would have into anything else, would have two hit go with Tangrus anyway. But yeah, that's a 5 million. <laughs> oh yeah, high jump kick might have also been a roll on the Clefable, by the way. Um, I think the Clefable probably would have lived, but um, it might have been a roll. The, the Greninja comes out and I don't know if it's Ash or Protein, but I'm pretty sure it's Spikes. Like the Majuna is so obvious here. You either go for Spikes or you go for Hydro Pump if you Specs to weaken it a little bit. You can also try to double into something. Like more while if he has like fire thing to hit the Magina hard. But there's also a Landris to check the more while, so I don't think that's the best play. I think you just attack or get up a spike here, yeah. And like Easy's obviously gonna switch out because he wants to save this many champ. As it can click Ice Punch when it comes in on Landris. Or it's potentially click higher jump kick 2 on Landris, predicting a Ninja to come out. It can potentially live a hit from a Scarf Guard jump that's locked into something like Dragon Claw. And yeah. He does dodge the Hydro Pump and decide to stay in, but he does go for Ice Punch. So he did predict Simiatic to double into Landris or Guard jump there. I think he did predict the land of the guard from yeah. Like, why would you ice punch otherwise? That was weird, dude. 
I mean, yeah, I guess he could have predicted. Now he could also predict that. Um, no, if you, went, if you predict the Greninja to go for a spike, it's Ash Green. He gets the, gets his battle bond. Shout out to my man Padlob. You guys know what I'm talking about. If you saw his OUPL again that I uploaded, man's always uses Ash Green. Yeah, Eevee must have predicted a spike or a double there. But yeah, the miss didn't really matter in the sense that the ice punch didn't do too much to the Gwen and he didn't get frozen. But yeah, Magenna is probably gonna go for the Flur Cannon here. As I assume we could see we could see the um the Clefable getting sacked off. I think Flur Cannon is overall the best play because it hits everything and like Unless it misses it, you basically get a kill. It doesn't kill the Marvel, but it does a lot to the Marvel, especially non-Mega Wolf. Marvel has bad spidev. Nanders will take a lot and everything else will die. Like, Volt Switching is definitely not the play into a potential Landers or Garchomp. Yeah, I don't know why it's taking so long, I think... Clefable is not doing too much this game, so exactly, he just sacks it. And yeah, he just clicked the floor can. Do agree with that play. Okay, now we're gonna... S I think we're gonna see the Landris come out, or the Mawile. Because the guard jump just... doesn't do much, because if you go guard jump, you have to predict too much, and if you go Landris... you can throw up the rocks at least. You can either throw up the rocks or go for U-turn or HPIs, depending on what you want to predict. But he's probably going to go out into the Rotom here. So yeah, either rocks or U-turn would be the play. As he does show the SD. So yeah, um, I was talking about that. I don't know if I was talking about that earlier, but... The Clefable having rocks probably pretty much confirms that this is offensive landers. So what I said in the last few seconds doesn't make any sense. Um, this is a... Probably double dance landers. Unless he's um, not Rox and Clef, but Rox and Clef makes more sense to get him up versus like fatter teams versus Sableye teams. Yeah, the Cartelette Crush is pretty obvious here. As that would just blow the Rotom away. I can see a hard Garchomp, hard Landros here, or Magirna even. Now you want the health on the Magirna to check Ashgren, so you probably won't go to that. But yeah, he, he doesn't really have a play, I think. This Rotom's just gonna get blown away, there's no way this lives. Yup. Like, if he went Landris, they would've taken 5 million. He wasn't even able to Oko the opposing Landris back. If he went Garchomp, he also wasn't able to do anything back besides maybe Toxic or Outrage to get some... Like, either Toxic to get chip like, every turn, or Outrage to get, like, some damage once. But yeah, if he specs Gengar, he can go to that and fire off a... Uh, Shadow Ball. Even though, yeah, 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 Specs Gengar and Shadow Ball, he would be an option. I think he Specs Gengar looking at his team. Like I said earlier, he has that Voltron core going on with Magirna, Rotom, and Landris to bring in his Breakers and Medici and Gengar, which is overall a cool strategy, but it didn't work out. Um, I mean, it, it did work out, but like, <laughs> like with Medici, it worked out that he was basically able to get a kill. Um, to weaken the Clefable to bring it in the range, so he had to like... He basically was forced to sack the Clefable when the Magirna came out earlier, because the Magirna weakened the Clefable. So the Magirna didn't get a kill the re like itself, but it like put in the work, kind of. Actually, it did get a kill itself, it also killed the Tangrowth, what am I saying? There's so many games today, man. <laughs> I should probably focus on like the uh, Smog 2 series and like see that I get a good narration there <laughs> and not just record every game that I'm interested in. Like, OEPL is kind of interesting for me too. 
Yeah, he's specs guard, I assume. That's just only 75? Is that specs? It just died. Landris, OU offensive. Uh, was Gengar. I mean, I did say offensive pivot, but it's basically just about finding out. Just about the spread that doesn't have HP on the Landris. Hey, wait, this is this is a bulky Landris. What the fuck? Yeah, Shadow Ball does 82 to 97 of the Landris doesn't have bulk. So the Landris either had some bulk. Or maybe the Gengar was Z move. Yeah, maybe the Gengar was Z move. What am I saying? Um, if we take the specs away from the Gengar. No, Shadow Ball does less. So the Lando either had some bulk or it was like Scarf. Uh, it was like Modest Gengar. No, even Modest Gengar would do 71. So the Landers had to have some sort of bulk. Or the Gengar was Spooky Plight or some sort of boosting item, I'm not sure. <laughs> not 100% sure, like what? He's gonna get up the rocks, so I'll go for HPIs here. I'm simulating, I'm hitting that good ninja button ASAP. Heart ninja. <laughs> Actually, yeah, you can also just go for Stone Age. Stone Age is also a fine play, yeah. Because he's still at plus one. Yeah. So he's saying, where well, was this the switch instead of jump? I mean, yeah, I kind of understand what he's saying. Uh, but if you go Garchom and you lock yourself into something, then that gives them a little more while a free switch. But I guess now you gave the Greninja a free switch. Like something got a free switch anyway, so it didn't really make a difference. But now you took damage on his Landorus, so I guess he could have avoided that. He's gonna go for Hydro Pump with a Greninja here on the... Pretty sure Easy wants to keep this Landorus to check the more while, so I think he's gonna go Majorna here. As Majorna might get blown away by his back spam from an Ash Ninja. Magirna. Oh, I was calking in black and white. That's what it damaged. That's what it said. were different. Hoopsala. Magirna versus Greninja. Specs Hydro Pump. Oh my lord. That's offensive Magirna, but it does 5 million to offensive Magirna. Let's put max HP, slap an assault vest on there. It does 49 to 58, so it's still 2 hit KOs. It's a roll. It's a roll of 2 hit KO. Yeah, yeah, so we'll see if he can get the roll here. It's in Simiatic's favor, but he also has to hit a Hydro Pump. He also has to hit a Hydro Pump. Now this, this pr pretty much kills. He needs like absolute min to lift this. Like he needs a min roll easy, he needs a min roll to lift on the Pumper. So there's like a percent chance for Simiotic to just wrap this up. I mean, he doesn't win yet, but he's in a, such a good position. And he does miss. Oh my lord, Pokemon is a good game. Afterwards, um, sorry, I was forced into Scarf, jumped to Revenge the Greninja, and he probably would have clicked off Quake. I don't know how that would have played out, but I think that was a Semiotic's favor if he hit that pump. He doesn't need the Majorna for the Chomper, so he's just gonna stay in here. Actually, if he stays in, the Mawa gets an SD. I mean, the Mawa gets an SD anyway, he can't really prevent that. But he can potentially go hard Landorus, and if he's max defense, he might be able to live a Sucker Punch, but most Landorus run some speed to outspeed opposing HPIs Landorus. Like, hit them first, to hit them first with HPIs. Man said you do joke. <laughs> Let's just go for five and pick up the Majorna. Landers is gonna come out and click off quick here. 
Because I don't think Garchomp is able to Oko the Mawal and you want the Intimidate. Actually, Garchomp might be able to Oko. What am I saying? Oh, Garchomp. We oh, choice Garf. Mawal. They don't run that much book. They run like maybe 120 HP. Yeah, so that's a roll. So yeah, he's gonna go Garchomp then. Because pretty sure defensive Landers cannot kill this. Yeah, Landers can't Oko. I mean, Landers needs a roll. Garchomp has a higher chance to kill. Would you sucker punch to get some chip off? And I think, I think you hope that you that you live. Depending on Thimiatic spread, I obviously don't know his EV spread. If he, if he's max HP, he can live. That's pretty pretty sure. Um, but he won't be max HP. I don't think they're more than one speed. Yeah, max HP lives guaranteed. Let's say he runs one. I think I, I don't think they run 160 HP, but then it's also rolling Thimiatic's favor. He does just go for Sucker Punch, which confirms that he's probably like super speedy mobile and the war was either an easy favor or guaranteed to kill. Now he's pretty much gonna lock himself into Outrage, I assume. Did we see a Z-move yet from his team? Yeah, we did see a Z-move from the Landris. Yeah, I think Outrage is his only play and hope to crit the Landris. Yup. And Alvish doesn't kill, especially with Intimidate Land Landers is just bulky, you guys know this. Landers is on almost every OE team, you know it's the bulkiest fifth death thing. He's just gonna click HP I thought off quick here. It doesn't really matter what he clicks. There's no crit, so easy does win this game that he sh probably should have lost. I <laughs> meant that oh my lord, it's easy. And yeah, I think he's on Andy's team, which is like number one at the moment. Um, damn, I don't have the thread open. But yeah, I will give you like a score and everything after. And I will tell you who makes playoffs when I like record the last games that decide the series, if I'm going to be able to do that. But now I'm going to concentrate on like the Astro series. The, the Blunder series should be in like 70 minutes, I think. 80 minutes? 85, yeah. Something along those lines. Thank you guys for watching, Doc, which... Signing out, peace friends.